A graduate of Nashville's Fisk University, Mandisa was part of the acclaimed Fisk Jubilee Singers here in town. However, it wasn't until she became a finalist on American Idol's season five that she started receiving national attention. As the three-time Grammy nominee released her fourth studio album, Overcomer, she was overwhelmed at the feedback from her fans about them overcoming obstacles in their own lives. We had a chance to hear from Mandisa about this project that is more than just a message, but rather a battle cry to overcome. Overcomer is about the fact that I am triumphing. I'm overcoming the battles in my life. From her initial success on American Idol to her very public battle with weight loss, Mandisa has been struggling her whole life to overcome obstacles. Watching people drive by, T-Mac on the radio. My journey with my weight has been publicized. <laughs> you know, the moment that Simon Cowell made fun of me on national television, the world um, was talking about my weight. And while I hated it then, I look back now having lost 100 pounds, and I'm so thankful that that happened. I'm thankful that Simon did that. Mandisa gets more personal than ever before on her fourth studio album, Overcomer. I think knowing that so many of my listeners are battling with their weight as well, that just helps me to understand the influence and the power of these songs. In addition to her own struggles, Mandisa was also inspired by close friends and other celebrities. Um, my friend Keisha was diagnosed with breast cancer while she was pregnant. And to be carrying a child and getting cancer treatments, I needed a song to encourage her, you're going to win this battle and you're going to overcome it. I really wanted people in the video that are overcomers. So we've got several people that I'm, I'm just so inspired by myself. Scott Hamilton, who overcame cancer and who's just one of the sweetest guys that you would ever meet. I wanted to include Gabby Giffords. Her story was so public about being shot as a congresswoman in Arizona. And the fact that if you look at her today, she overcame that beautifully. I just think her story would help inspire so many others. One of my biggest discoveries on my journey to lose 100 pounds was Zumba. Now, please understand, I hate running, I hate lifting weights, but I love to dance. And so finding a form of exercise that I enjoyed changed my life. And so that's why so many of the songs on Overcomer have the kind of beat that you can hear in your Zumba classes. And I do hope that they get up off of their couches and that they let loose. For Mandisa, her up-tempo album gives her a newfound confidence she can't wait to share with as many people as possible. love knowing that this song and this album can encourage people in the middle of whatever they're facing. It's really an important part of what I consider myself called to do is to encourage and inspire people that don't look at how far you have to go, just one foot in front of the other. Don't look back. Later this year, Mandisa will once again join Toby Mac on tour. Look for that to kick off November 7th in Huntington, West Virginia. Now it's time for our weekly songwriter tip. This week we sit down with low cash cowboy Preston Rust as he talks about capturing your song ideas before they're gone. Well, I know when inspiration hits me, uh, it's straight to my iPhone, man. I got that little voice recorder button and I must have a hundred of those little ideas and at the moment I think it's the best idea I've ever said I've ever had I'm like humming it and I'm standing in a mall you know and I'm singing this idea or uh, sometimes wake up in the middle of the night and you've written something in your sleep somehow your brain was working you got this melody or something or this idea and wake up and voice record it um, and then the next day it doesn't sound quite like you <laughs> thought it would you're like oh, maybe we need to tweak that a little bit but I think it just goes straight to the iPhone straight to a, a pad of paper just write it down because it's sometimes it takes a while for that idea to turn into the next idea of what it really could be so just capture it as quick as you can 
For more information on the craft of songwriting, check out NashvilleSongwriters.com. That's about all the time we have for this week's show, but don't forget those new desks with Up For Grabs this week from Steve Warner. If you want to enter this week's drawing for a copy of It Ain't All Bad, then head on over to InsideMusicRow.com to get signed up. Make sure to check us out on Facebook, too. Don't forget to come on back next week when we'll sit down with the legendary Kenny Rogers. We're going to leave you today with the latest from CMA Entertainer of the Year nominee, Jason Aldean, and his hit, Night Train. Until next time, I'm Bailey for Inside Music Row, and I'll see you again real soon.